Only about the size of a cufflink, the device itself is small, but what it could represent is enormous. In this laboratory at the Ohio State University Wexner Medical Center, researchers demonstrate the concept. Simply place this chip on an injured part of the body and apply a small electrical current. This process only takes less than a second and is not invasive and then you're off, the chip does not stay with you and the reprogramming of the cell starts. That reprogramming turns skin cells into nearly any type of cell doctors might need to treat a patient, a breakthrough technology in regenerative medicine. For example, in a leg that is badly injured and lacks blood flow, doctors simply touch the chip to the leg and reprogram the skin cells to become functioning blood vessels. And it will quickly shoot the DNA right into the cells. In many cases, in seven days, you start seeing changes and these changes, to our pleasant surprise, persists. Within a week, there are active blood vessels, and by the second week, the leg is saved. It's important to note that this has not yet been tested in humans, but after developing the concept, researchers were determined to test it in real life. So we tried them uh, on the mouse and put it on the skin. And you know what? It actually works. It affects the entire tissue, not just the surface. In this image, you can see the mouse's leg is injured, and vascular scans show there is little blood flow. But after one touch with this chip, in just three weeks, the blood flow was back, and the injured leg was saved. Our technology is not just limited to be used on the skin. It can be used on other tissues within the body or outside the body, so on and so forth. So skin is only one example. In fact, in lab tests, it even worked in the brain, helping mice recover from strokes. In humans, this could allow doctors to grow brain cells on a person's skin under the guidance of their own immune system. They could then harvest those cells and inject them into the brain to treat conditions like Alzheimer's or Parkinson's disease. And no immune suppression drugs would be necessary, all by using a patient's own cells in a brand new way. At Ohio State Wexner Medical Center, this is Clark Powell reporting.